welcome back everyone to another video and you might be wondering what just happened uh, android p just came out and how is android q already running on devices so to be truthful this is just a change in the um, settings area where it shows which android version it's running now i didn't go manually and change it this is just android open source uh, master build that i just did and what Android guys usually do that they have a separate private branch which is not open sourced uh, internally at Google and then they have a branch that is open sourced and that's the master branch and it trickles down from there and when whenever they release a new preview so in this case they release the P preview uh, they are releasing a separate uh, open source branch with that particular name so it's usually P preview MR1 or in this case PR1 um, and so on and so forth. So MR1 was for Marshmallow, OR1 was for uh, Oreo. And so this would be PR1 that will be released eventually, but for now, or it is already released, I'm not sure, uh, but it will be in the coming days. And what happens with that is they then bump, uh, bump up the master branch in preparation for Android Q. Uh, and that is why, why you are seeing the Android Q logo. Now, to be fair, uh, not a whole lot has made it into the master branch yet because it's still in the preview state and Android usually likes to keep everything uh, secret under unless they have uh, everything working and then they push it up to the open source Android uh, uh, Google Kit repository. Uh, and then you, you can download everything and it will work as uh, Android P build. But for now, yes, this is technically the very early stage beginnings of Android Q, which would eventually up to next year go into um, Android P uh, when it releases or in this case go into the actual Android Q. So that was it. So the reason I'm able to do this because I have two boards called the Hikey and the Hikey 960. And the good thing is that they the, both of these boards are uh, supported directly by Google and are on the Android master branch. And what you get with that is the ability to uh, pretty much be on the bleeding edge of the open source variant of Android, which is the AOSP or Android open source program. And that basically enables you to, you know, do all these experiments and try out new builds. So yeah, I was just building that and behind me you can see my system is building another one. Uh, which I was live streaming about uh, a few minutes ago. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link in the description. Um, in that live stream, I talk a bit more about detail about the build process. Well, not that much detail, but yeah. So yeah, quick look at Android Q or what it may be in the future. Um, for now, we just have the letter Q in place of the letter P, which is still okay. I mean, we, we get to play with it. And while we are on the subject of 96 boards, if you have one and you want to add a GPS module to it, we now have the 96 boards GPS mezzanine available uh, for pre-order on group gets. And there's only 25 units available, so make sure you go and get yours now. And of course, this is the first mezzanine that came out of the 96 boards mezzanine community. And it's a joint effort uh, from the community and Michael Welling who design the whole uh, the whole mezzanine based on community input so i hope you all would go ahead and take a look and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching